and welcome to another 10 minute story time with the Madison Public Library right here on the internet. Maple and I are so glad that you could join us. Today is a special day because I'm not the one who's going to read the story, but I'll introduce my story friend later. Let's start with our open shut thems. Ready, Maple? Open shut them, open shut them them give a little clap 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 open shut them open shut them lay them in your lap 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 creep them crawl them creep them crawl them do not touch your chin 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 open wide your brittle mouth but do not let them in now it's time for our mystery word and picture Here's the mystery word. Can you sign that word? Just two little fingers on top and that thumb and snap. What could that word mean? Let's check our mystery bag. Maple, thank you. Let's see what it means. What is that? It is the word no. No. This is a special mystery word because mystery picture because we won't find it in the book that may, that my friend reads, but we will need to use it whenever the pigeon asks to drive the bus. Can you do it with me? No, do not let the pigeon drive the bus. Are you ready for the book and to meet my friend Marshall Dennert? Marshall is a really interesting guy. He has three different jobs. His first job, well, he's the mayor of the city of Madison, which means he was elected to help Madison every day. He has two other jobs. He creates really cool things on paper down on Main Street, and he's a school bus driver. Maybe some of you have met him and ridden on his bus. Maybe you have a friend or an older sibling has ridden the bus with him. Marshall is going to read, Don't Let the Pigeon Ride the Bus. Every time the pigeon asks to ride the bus, don't forget to tell the pigeon no. Take it away, Marshall. Hello, kids. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, miss you seeing you on the bus and, or at the school. Um, I'm, I'm here to read you a book, Don't Let the Pigeons Drive the Bus. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Things, oh, and to remember, don't let the pigeons drive the bus. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please? I'll be careful. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Boom, boom, boomy, boom, boom. Pigeon at the wheel. No, I never get to do anything. Hey, I got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you $5? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks a lot. Oh, hum. Bye. Hey. 
Marshall? Did you guys tell the pigeon no a lot? I hope you did. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Are you going to let him drive the truck? No. Our song is going to be the wheels on the bus, but with a little twist for the pigeon. We're going to play the I Spy game and see what kind of animal wants to ride the bus. Let's start out with the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Now let's guess what animal wants to ride the bus. Can you guess? An owl. What would an owl say on a bus? The owl on the bus goes hoo, 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 hoo. The owl on the bus goes hoo, 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 all through the town. What other animal wants to ride the bus? Can you guess? Do you need to come all the way out? <gasps> it's a kangaroo. The kangaroo on the bus goes hop, 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 hop. The kangaroo on the bus goes hop, 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 all through the town. Who else is on the bus? Let's see. Oh, it's got dark brown fur. I think I see an ear. Maybe if you can turn for us. A nose. Looks like a bear. The bear on the bus goes growl, 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 growl. The bear on the bus goes rawr, 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 all through the town. Can you think of other animals that would like to ride the bus? You can always invite the pigeon too. Let's sing. The pigeon tries to drive the bus, but we say no. We say no. We say no. The pigeon tries to drive the bus, but we say no all through the town. <laughs> it's time for me to introduce the craft that you can do at home. Today we're going to make a bus by ripping it out of paper. Ripping is a wonderful fine motor skill that little fingers can do to get stronger so that they can write and tie shoes and, but and button buttons. Ripping is wonderful and so we're going to rip out a little bus. If you'd like, you can download this from our website and rip out this shape. But it doesn't have to be. You can just do an easy box. You don't have to follow my guidelines. Just an easy box like this and you have a bus shape. If you want to do a different color, you can make some windows just by quickly ripping the paper. I've already ripped something out earlier. You take the ripped paper and you glue it on and you have yourself a little bus. You can keep the pigeon off of it, but at least don't let him drive it. Have fun. I'll see you next week. Bye. And thank you, Marshall, so much for coming in to read to us.